Hi everybody, so three questions you should ask yourself if you're having a lot of hair shedding. So this is called telogen effluvium and if you are having a lot of hair or abnormal hair shedding, there's three questions that you want to ask and you want to ask the doctor and, um, and get some tests done. So the first one is iron. So we wanna look at your ferritin numbers and if you're iron deficient. Um, this is one of the number one causes of hair loss. So for women, it's a, and for men, it's a pretty wide range of um, the numbers. And so you really want that ferritin number to be at or close around 70 for proper hair growth. So you wanna get your iron checked. You also want to make sure that you are eating enough protein. So our hair is made of keratin. Our body needs protein to flush the oxygen and nutrients up to the hair follicle. So we need to make sure um, average daily amount of protein is 50 grams per day. So it's not too hard to do. Um, I feel like some days it's harder than others. You can either do um, protein shakes, but also, even just um, uh, doing like a grilled chicken salad is usually about 30 grams of protein or a Greek, um, like a Greek yogurt um, bowl with oats, that's about 30 grams too. So you, there's a lot of foods that you can kind of incorporate like throughout the day to get your protein in. Even just eating some pistachios, um, pecans, pumpkin seeds, um, aged cheese, snacking on aged cheese, blackberries, ap apricots, um, those are helpful too and have a lot of protein in them as well. So you wanna make sure that you are getting enough protein. So, and the third is vitamin D. So go to your doctor, get that vitamin D checked and make sure that you have enough vitamin D and all of these should help you with um, maintaining that hair growth and slowing down that shedding that you're, ha that you're having as well. All right, talk to you later.